Welcome to Rockcast. Dire Sync Production. And three, two, one. Boom. Welcome to Rockcast 2.0, my friends, my family. Everybody out there, I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful life. Uh, maybe the one or two people that actually used to watch Rockcast will enjoy these. I will be uh, trying to make it up as I go, but I make it my show again because why the fuck not? I enjoyed it. We'll have different segments. We'll have all that shit. Mind you, I make it up as I go, and I do all the work as usual, so there's no guarantee that... Uh, I'll get anything out. Nah, who's that too? Uh, so, what I got so far for Rockcast 2.0, and I'm trying to get some ideas going. There, there are so many subjects these days that we could cover, uh, and a lot of them are just unpleasant, and it's all that's on everybody's mind. So. I would like to discuss that, but at the same time, I don't want to make this heavy, man. This isn't about that. And, you know, I've had my moments before, for most of my life, where I've been kind of a psychopath. And, uh, I just don't, I just don't want to come off that way anymore. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it all. I'm tired of all the bullshit, man. There's absolutely no reason for us to all be like this but then again I mean that's how humans are you act one way humans are gonna act one way and another way and it just sucks shout out to my puppers she's laying down over there so you know I mean there's there's obviously I mean we're only weeks away from the election or civil war or whatever is going to happen uh, it's just an unpleasant time for our, everybody uh, I have uh, unfortunately been reading about simulation theories and stuff, and just—it's all crazy, man. It's all madness. Uh, that's something I wouldn't mind discussing. Did did the world end in 2012? Are we living inside of a black hole? Are we a simulation? Are we? Basically, NPCs in a very structured game that some higher being that looks upon us like we're drooling plants, basically. I, who knows? A better perspective. Let you see the messiness. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to edit that out. So yeah, man. <clears throat> but I want to talk about humans, music, comedy. Uh, promote my comedy friends. I'll also be doing interviews, which I would like to slip in here. Now, now the format's going to be a thing because, of course, everybody's short-minded. So maybe one Rockcast episode will be broken up. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just do the whole thing and break it off into clips. Uh, why is this side of my mustache fucking rallying and this side is not? These are important discussions we could have. There we go. Why am I doing this with my mustache? Why do I feel that that's necessary? I don't know. I don't know. These are all things to discuss. I have my metal news segment, which I have some interesting things on the family up there. Uh, just a lot, you know. Dude, I, on one hand, I, I want to take it kind of seriously. On the other hand, I don't take anything too seriously. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, that's it. But uh, welcome back, Rockcast 2.0. I believe this episode is going to be number one. And three, two. One. All right. Welcome to part two of episode one. I broke these up for you fine people so that you won't be uh, hateful and not watch them. Hopefully you will watch them. I don't know. I don't know why I said hateful. It's not what I meant. Uh, part two today is going to be my topic, which I've got one person recorded answering me. Um, do 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 do. And what's funny about that is I actually I put it out as a question on a Rockcast post on Facebook. I reached 233 people 
And I didn't seem to get any comments on that one. So let's see here. So then I'll go to my Facebook one where I reposted, recorded him, whatever you want. He's your boss. So uh, my question that nobody seems to want to answer on my, I'm not getting any prices, but, uh, is what do you feel the chances are that we are living in some version of a simulated existence that may have been caused in 2012 when CERN went boom and possibly living in a black hole? And go. I don't think it started in 2012. But I wouldn't be surprised if when I died, I woke up and I was like, oh shit, that was amazing. How long was I out? Five minutes, oh fuck, that was awesome. Let's do it again. But then when you wake up in that world, everything makes sense. You know why you exist. You know why you're hooked up to the simulation. And it's just for the extra experience of life. It's either that or when we die, our souls leave our body and then zoom across the universe with form forms of life to inhabit. Excellent, thank you. So the few answers I did get, I will read off. Uh, their answers all suck. <laughs> so Jeff Hill said, simulation, absolutely 100%. Sean Dillard, shout out to Sean Dillard. He's on an interview. Never mind. Here's one, homie. Obstacles of pain are the driving forces of na human nature. If there were no issues to overcome, then would we de-evolve? I mean... That's a whole other question. But I think, I think honestly, life provides plenty of obstacles in its own. And then we add on top of those our, our current stresses and what we think are important. You know. Um, Scud Gray, Scud Metal Gray, also another podcast guest. Failed experiment discarded. You guys aren't very good at elaboration. However, I will say that the failed experiment discarded thing could be the truth. Uh, Ryan Poshusta said something interesting that kind of, you know, it caused me to stop and think about how, uh, you know, ever since they started fucking around with CERN, who knows? And then you go, you start looking into it. And this is where, for me, the editing part's gonna suck. <laughs> but. There are a lot of different views on it. And a lot of ph physicists agree that it could be a possibility. Some are sure of it. Some have no idea, of course. And then it just brings a slew of questions. You know? Does it matter? If, if it's a simulation, does it matter? Uh, you know? It, does that change anything? No. I don't think so. And... If you do watch this, I would appreciate any of your uh, your views or opinions on the after fact. I could always come back and rediscuss it again. Um, that's all up to you guys. So, yeah. My personal thoughts is I have no fucking idea. And I try not to look too deeply into it. But then again, I look around at my life right now. And boy, does it seem like it could be... Uh, synthesized i mean for fuck's sake i'm working at my favorite job all of my kids and family are happy and then if it is a simulation is it just my simulation that you're all in pcs in <laughs> or are the, is every single individual within its own thing i play the sims 4 as i was swiffer sweeping the floor at work the other day and i was like god damn it you know i set my guy out to do this before i shut down the game Go to the bathroom, take a shower, da 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 Clean the floor, make his breakfast, go to work. Like, I pre-programmed all that. There's nothing. There's a couple clicks while smoking a giant. It's a fucking trip when you think about it, man. It is a trip when you fucking think about it. So that was the subject of the day. Um, look, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to put this show together. And this is my... Once, I, think, I feel like everything's a failed experiment for me. I'm always trying to just put a show together. But uh, hopefully this one will work. We'll give you some clips and then, you know, I'll have to figure out how to piece them all into one long episode. I'm thinking about doing it like this and then taking all those, uploading it into one long episode and then releasing these as clips. So we'll see. 
That being said, that's my time for this one. So I'm going to uh, throw a shout out to Comedy and Kitsap, my good buddy Joe Rogers, and everything he does. Check out his stuff. Check out his uh, podcast show, which I'm on quite frequently, called The Podcast Show. Um, go subscribe to his channel. Uh, go subscribe to his Facebook. He also does some gaming stuff. But he's a uh, Kitsap. Kitsap's main comedy promoter, I think, and he busts his ass, and I really appreciate it. As a matter of fact, a lot of the software I'm using here was brought to me by, uh, or given to me, maybe even owned, I don't know. I'm not giving it back by Joe Rogers. So, uh, thanks, Joe. Go check his shit out. All right, rock and roll, I think, for a segment. That's a true story, but I was thinking how terrifying that must be in Alaska right now, because now you got these bears because of Global warming. I know it's fake, but you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, these bears coming down and they're going through the the upper, really nice hillside neighborhoods. You got just black bears wandering around getting in people's garbage. Why are there gonna be black bears? Because it's topical. That's where they're from. Don't be weird, guys. Black lives matter. Hashtag. Just want to say that for everybody. But I didn't do my dancing joke. But so what I'm worried about is you got these bears, good old, just nice little cuddly bears going through the garbage. They come across some meth. You know, you come at this time of year right now, bears are doing two things. They're fucking and killing, and then they go to sleep for, I think they hibernate for seven months. Meth bears don't sleep, man. Now you've got an angry, skinny bear wandering around Anchorage, Alaska, high on meth, tweaking, willing to do stuff for more meth. And I'm talking like bear stuff, you know. And then people start, people start getting mauled and shit, which is terrifying. But after a couple of weeks of smoking meth, you know they don't got any fangs left. So you just get these gentle bear maulings happening all over town. Pretty soon you walk by an alley and you see some homeless guy getting a fucking bear job. You know, it's just... <laughs> bro, bro. So, never finish in a bear's mouth. That's so... Rat Rant, which goes back to my original series, Rockcast. Not to be confused with Rockcast 2.0, as you can see right there. Rockcast 2.0, shout out to Dan for designing my beautiful Rockcast logo. I'm uh, doing a standing workstation today because uh, my neck hurts really bad and every time I sit down for some reason, even right now, it feels like a little ball of electricity right there. And that, my friends, that, my friend, is a sciatic uh, fucking nerve being a dick. Because, you know, why I got it? Because uh, I, uh, I wanted to take a bath the other day and when I said, took said bath, I, I, I hooked my neck <laughs> trying to relax. Let's light up a joint here before we get started on today's Rod Rants. You ought to do bag. Now, why did I decide to do this live instead of like my other ones? Well, part of the magic of my shit, which is a weird thing to say, is um, you guys. And I want you to be a part of it. And in order for you to be a part of it, I have to uh, involve you. Fucking muggles. So... <laughs> And this rat rant, I, you know, it just sucks as I already went on a really good rant on Facebook Live. And I didn't mean it to me. I was just like, come on, everybody. Apparently, there's something huge happening today on November uh, motherfucking 4th. And uh, everybody's up in an uproar. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what it's about, man. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> I hate everybody right now. I mean, I've always hated people. That's my thing. I hate people. Not humans. Love humans. But I hate people people and people have never been so peopley as, as these people are doing right now uh to quote the mighty slipknot uh people equal shite shite i tell you shite well so far let's see here we've got zero drop frames only rocking 37 percent of my cpu god i need a stronger computer uh, Dyerson Productions is taking donations. I know. I know. I don't care. I don't know. Really so, yeah. All hail the mighty boobs. Move my buddy out. Move my buddy out right there. Fucking genius. Here's to you. This is uh, a uh, Wildwood CBD joint. About a third CBD. And then... Uh, Blueberry by Alpha Buds and Obama Kush because just we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. We're going to start this uh, rant off with this right here.
And normally I would be having some music play right now, but since this is going to be edited, I uh, will add all that afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> since nobody's watching anyways, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I would suggest watching this mindless, stupid thing rather than focusing on the nightmare that's happening. What I love is the fact that everybody waited, typically American, until the very last moment to vote. <laughs> Even though we've had literally nothing else to do. But you guys, you guys decided to wait to the last fucking moment. For what could be considered one of the most important elections of our time. Which has been said about um, every election of our time. Ever. And this is what first part one Part one of my of my rot rant is the American work week and why you motherfuckers think that you're doing it right. Now, I'm not a scientist or a medical professional or in any way anything. Um, I'm, I'm Dennis. I'm rot. Don't you? Don't touch me. And uh, I'm, I, I, I take information in from people that I deem smarter than I, which is pretty much everybody. Except, ironically, a lot of the people that I love that know personally, I mean, it, it's dumbfounding. But, I look at a lot of my friends, and this is what I was saying earlier. Motherfuckers are in their early 40s, mid 40s now, people around my age. I was actually, for some reason, older than a lot of people I hung out with. Look, I'm not being mean here, but this is this is this is the great freedom in America that you're all so fucking willing to barely get off your couch and fight about. Um, y'all look like you can't admit it. You can't admit your faults. You 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 only feel terrible about your results, and then you, you down on yourself, and you, you do this cycle of depression, and you just give up. 240 and all that shit and that gets in your head man and uh y'all think we 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 deserve life or that we're meant we're we're happenstance man and and uh anyways is suicidal thoughts which is ironic because i have suicidal thoughts all the time i think they're hilarious if you don't want to die you're not living man you're not living if you if you're not going man fuck this i just i'm gonna blow my fucking brain out uh you're not living now, that aside, let me say something. There are real mental conditions and real levels of, of depression and people that should be medicated and, and, and people that do need help. And I'm never saying suicide is a solution. I'm against it, of course. I feel one day I may use it, uh, but that's my choice. But if so, it, you know, uh, I'm never going to kill myself over a girl or so. I might kill myself if I stub my toe. I'm not even going to lie, like that pain. You know, and when I was even in my darkest and when I was in my pain, the only reason I thought about killing myself was because of medication that they gave me to make me better. Dude, I've got one problem. And then they're going to give you drugs that are going to give you 40 more problems. They wanted, if, if you take one of the medications, I took hydrochloroquine. <laughs> yeah. uh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, a little secret. They bumped my fucking prescription up when Von Fucktard started telling everybody that it works. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of hydrochloroquine. <laughs> Come at me. But the one they wanted to take a biopsy of my liver to see. And then they're like, well, yeah, we don't even know what this will do. But the side effects of it are shitting yourself. And, uh, oh, you have a 70% chance of cancer from the biopsy in your liver. But, you know, what? plus at the time I was drinking two-fifths a day of alcohol. And I quit. I literally quit. The day after I told my doctor I was going to quit drinking. I quit a motherfucking goddamn two-fifth a day habit. It took me six days, three days of living hell, and three days of coming to terms with it. That was then. And then I, I started drinking again. A big time. I went from two-fifths to two-and-a-half-fifths and beer. Uh, you know, and then now I'm on diet day. Today, it's like day 514, 12 hours. 45 minutes and 55 seconds since I've had a drink of alcohol. Boy, did I pick the wrong yeah to quit drinking. You know, I don't even know if anybody's watching because I'm not getting any comments. 
Or at least I don't see any comments. But that's okay, because again, this is uh, uh, for you, for you viewers, for anybody who actually watch just the rock cast. This is the segment here. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening. This, this is only Dice Production. production. You you can can do 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 Listen to me, 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 listen to me,